Hey there, everybody. It's Mo and Deb. <laughs> <laughs> Facebook Live. What y'all doing tonight? Get, we'll get our uh, following to join in here in a minute. We're going to show you some things that we're doing. Yeah. Talk to you about some things we got going. <clears throat> Let me see if I can see who's on here. There we go. We've been cooking tonight. Um, we made homemade pizzas. Really good, too. Homemade yep. crust, homemade, homemade marinara. I know. Debbie made the marinara. It was so good. Yeah. I loved it. Now I feel like a big old pig. <laughs> hey, guys. Hey, Lindsay. Hey, Debbie. <laughs> Mitch. Lindsay. Yeah. Lindsay says, I'm doing cookies. She's, she's. Oh, she making cookies? Yeah. She's, um, taking. Your cookies? Cookies <gasps> to Huntsville. So oh, she is good. the cookie lady in Huntsville now. Good job, Lindsay. So if anybody out there in Huntsville needs any cookies, look up Lindsay White. That's awesome. Yeah. So she's doing cookies. But, um, anyway, we made homemade pizzas and we cooked, um, homemade, uh, some, co some more some cookies. cookies. Yeah. Um, they were really good too. Mm hmm Yep, they were good. So you'll be seeing them in on our uh, YouTube, and they'll come up here soon on uh, videos. And there's the kitty cats. Yep, <laughs> the kitty cat helps us cook. He gets over there and hopes we drop something Lee in the kitchen. Finds anything that falls to the floor <laughs> and begs <laughs> and punches us like, "Hey, I'm down here." So we wanted to come live. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. In front of no, me. go ahead. And uh, t talk to you a little about what we are going to be doing soon. Mm -hmm. um, one thing that I've done uh, recently and I want to do more of is canning. And I went to Amazon. Amazon, you know, Amazon's got everything. And oh, I bought yeah. a canning book, cookbook, um, home preserving cookbook. I've, I've scanned through it. It's got a lot, a lot of stuff in it. I got to do some more studying. Yeah. So canning seems to be a dying art. A lot of young folks, and even even people of mine and our Debbie's age. age, did not can. You know, our parents did, and our grandparents for sure did. Um, but you know, we just we were too busy, I guess, to learn, or maybe we got sidetracked and didn't bother to learn. But. Yeah, I, th I think it's coming back though. I think a lot of people now. I think it should come back are, for are, sure. A lot of people are thinking, well, with you know being cooped up at home a lot, um, you're seeing more people cook, more yeah. more people are eating at home, and so the thoughts of have you know making your own and having your own uh, food at home that you've preserved, that you've put in jars yourself, yeah. you know where it all came from. You know what right. all it took to put in those <clears throat> jars and you know it's all good fresh Well and food. you know we live in a part of the country where you know a lot of folks farm their own food and uh, put up their own food. We've got a lot of friends that live close to us that you know they put up food every year but right. then a lot of folks um, don't know how to do it. Right. Wouldn't know where to start you know. Um, Deb's mother is actually going to um, come join us mm -hmm. We're at some point and uh, do She's a an canning expert. class. She is an expert. Been doing it for many, a many moons. My, I don't know how many times I've heard her say, um, every jar has to be filled. She has a lot of jars, a lot of canning <laughs> jars, and she wouldn't stop until every oh jar goodness. was filled. I can't so imagine, because I know how much work goes into that. It is. That. Oh, and she wears herself out, but, yeah. but we have, I mean, she feeds, passes it on to everybody, not yeah. only just them, but. But, so, and there's no comparison to like there's no canned way. green beans and canned tomato sauce and all that stuff that you make yourself is so much better, so much better exactly. than store bought. So there's, uh, we're gonna later on talk to you more about the tools you need, uh, but there's a, a pressure canning, which means that you're cooking your food in the jars so that when you are ready to open it. Uh, it's already cooked. So it's kind of like, you know, how a lot of you have Instapots. It's the same type thing, but it's doing and canning a and done, done on a bigger scale. <clears throat> and then there's hot water bath canning. So it's boiling water that uh, cooks, well, it mostly seals, seals. your mm -hmm. jars so that they will last a lot longer. So, so it takes less time to do mm -hmm. the hot water bath canning than the pressure canning. Yeah. So, so Deb lately has done some pressure canning and it's, for the first time. you know, it's not, it's not garden time. So it's not fresh garden stuff, but show them what okay. you've been canning. So, so, um, you can can at any time. You don't have to wait till the garden stuff comes in. So I canned, um, pinto beans 
And all that is is um, I got a big bag of pinto beans at Sam's and I um, put beans, I put a little bit of ham in them that I had cooked with water and then these are pressure cooked. So they're actually cooked. When you open a jar, just like if you open a can of pinto beans, um, these are cooked and ready so to eat. So you don't cook the pinto beans and then put them in the no, jar? No, You put them in the jar wrong. You do. Or You're actually supposed dry. to let them set. Uh, you put them in water and let them set overnight. And then you put them into the jar. Oh, and they wow. don't they don't look very pretty in the jar either when you first put them in there. But yeah. they look good like yeah. pinto beans. They look like, like pinto beans. Yeah. yeah. After they've cooked. That's awesome. So, so then you pressure cooked them. I pressure cooked them, and this is what I got. Okay. And I, you're going to leave this with me so uh, I can eat This them. jar I'm leaving to you. <laughs> um, I also did, um, these are uh, black beans. So oh, I did the same yeah. thing with black beans. Yeah, they um, look great. So these are great, you know, for, you can actually eat these just like pinto beans. So we've done that, but they're mm -hmm. good with Mexican food. You I love put them, them on with a Mexican salad. Food. So mm -hmm. those are two things. So I, you don't have to just can during the summer. There are things you can do. So that's what I'm doing with my, um, my cookbook. I'm going to figure out what all I can do at all different times. I know <clears> that <throat> summertime is fresh and you want to get all those fresh foods preserved, but there are things you can be doing other times too. Hey, Tracy. Hey, Trina. Now, Trina Cannon, I know you know about Cannon because your mama, she'd be Cannon a lot when we were kids. She <laughs> did a lot of Cannon. So, um, Trina, did you learn how to do that from her or, or did you, were you like me and just say, I'm too busy for that. <laughs> I don't want to know that. Anyway, so uh, Deb mentioned hot water bath canning and that is the kind of canning that I've done. I've never done pressure canning because when I was a kid, um, my mother had a friend whose pressure cooker blew up on her and it scared me from then on. Mm -hmm. And even when mother was canning, she would like make us go outside and never, never come in the house. And if we came in, she'd be like, don't, don't jump around. You know, she'd be so <laughs> nervous about it. But anyway, so I do hot water bath canning and you can do pickles, you can do uh, salsa. And so I was going to show you, these are my cinnamon pickles that I put up in the winter time. Very popular. Got the recipe from my pickles. sister, my brother-in-law. But these are really good if you like cinnamon. They taste like cinnamon red hots. Um, also, my favorite thing about hot water bath canning is my homemade salsa. salsa. We eat a lot of this throughout the year. And I'm down to about three or four jars. And so... Got to make some more this summer. Yep, got to make some more. And it's made with fresh tomatoes and all. And then this year, I did um, pickle relish. Can you see that? Mm. So this is actually a spicy pickle relish, but I made spicy and mild. We need so. to get one of those. Yes, Pam, I have one of those. I don't know how big you're talking about, but I do have a big <laughs> big pressure cooker. Yeah. That's what I use to do my beans in. It, t it holds seven jars. Yeah. But you think that that's... Um, that's it holds well, seven quart jars. Yeah. There's more. So that's pretty more. big. I mean, um, so that's what I used mm -hmm. with the pressure cooker, and I'd never done pressure cooking before. Mom has, and I always saw her yeah. do it and helped her do it, but I'd never done it by myself. So yeah. it's not as bad as as I always thought yeah. it was. Yeah, Daryl's mama did it too, and then she got a glass top uh, cooking range, and then she was always afraid to put her big pressure well, cooker on it. And I have one too, but it does fine. Okay, it, it yeah. I always fine. told her it probably would. I was yeah. like, you know, Geneva, those things are made to. To cook on yeah. so I would just try you know but she she was always scared too okay so, so that's something to be thinking about yeah. because summertime's coming uh, you know you're gonna come upon some good veggies that you might want to preserve so we're gonna be sh showing you a little bit about the things that we preserve and maybe that's something you'd want to do too yeah, so awesome keep that in mind and Mo has a special special yeah, something to I show do. you somewhere around Where do in we here. Set it? oh 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 so for Easter this year y'all I, I decided I would do these little this is a box filled with what I'm calling Easter dunkers so what dunkers are I made these sweet little mini cookies these are just my regular sugar cookies, but they're Easter shapes. Ducks, butterflies, yeah. Easter eggs. And they're small, right. they're mini. And then with the Dunkers, you get two containers of yummy icing with sprinkles. Hello. So with the Dunkers, what you do, Debbie, we're gonna try these. Okay. Oh, we don't try so much tonight. I know, we're, you know, <laughs> we haven't had enough cookies, so now we're gonna eat another cookie. But anyway, these Dunkers, 
I think they would grow, that grow. They would go great in Easter baskets. Oh, would they so cute? Because I don't Jesus. know what it is about kids, but they love Dunkin' stuff. You're right, like, they do. You know, fun dip and all that nasty stuff. But these are not nasty. I so this is gonna be you. the yummy cookies with icing. Yeah. What could be now, bad about that? Now I will Nothing. tell you, this is my glaze icing that I use for um, for my decorated cookies. Uh -huh. I'm going to be using more of a buttercream, a thicker icing uh -huh. than this, so it'll be a little different. But there's your little butterfly dab. I'm going to eat a bunny. Keep we're just going to we're going to dunk them, in. dunk them in. Mm. So now you're going to get a mm. bunch of icing with every bite. Oh my gosh. <laughs> mm mm mm. So good. I think I'm getting diabetes from it. <laughs> I'm, I'm, Good, good. Yes, we're double dipping. Yeah, I, I did use the other end of my. I body. did too. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? It's really. Is good. that a great idea or what? Let us know in the comments, y'all. What? You think. Yeah. So Easter dunkers. Fabulous. What else are we gonna do in March, Deb? Well, we we've got some videos coming, some cooking videos. So be sure you check those out. Well, Easter's coming. What What do you oh, eat at Easter? Easter? Maybe a ham? Yes, a ham. I love me some ham. But these dunkers are going to come with 12 little mini cookies and two icings of one of each color. So, pink or purple or whatever you want. Y'all let me know if you want some of those. I think I'm going to... Oh, and they're in this cute little box with green grass Dressing in it. it. And the really window. Cute that Easter basket. Yeah, they would be. So I miss doing Easter baskets for my kids. Uh, too. Grandbabies. Well, yeah, I do have a grandbaby. So <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have a new grandbaby in April. Mm -hmm. So right. anyway, but that's, I guess that's mm -hmm. all we so, have tonight. Yep. Um, Y'all leave us some comments. Let us know what you think. And we will be getting back to Make you Make deviled eggs for Easter, Pam oh, said. Of course, you gotta That's have deviled eggs idea. for sure. Yep. Maybe we could, We should do that and use a easy accent decorator or something to decorate them with. That would be cool. Because you know you that want your deviled a, eggs to look pretty. Exactly. That might be a good At video. Least I always Thanks, do. <laughs> My cat is standing here under the camera like he's, he's the about camera to man. push it over. <laughs> <laughs> so we better get out of here before he pushes it off. <laughs> Y'all have a great evening and yeah. we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. Thank you.